Hello and welcome to the Academy of Modern Martial Arts and our step-by-step -step Tai Chi instruction. Today we're going to go over movement number 18 of the 24 movement form, Fair Lady Works the Shuttle. Like so many different movements in this form, it's going to be performed once on one side of the body and once on the other side of the body, lending itself to a sense of balance and symmetry in the form. So from Golden Rooster stands on one leg, the toe is pointed, we're going to turn and set that heel down at a 45. We're going to relax and drop, letting go of tension through the frame. We're going to rotate through and hold the ball on the in the right hand, but on the left side of the body. Well, not really on the left side because it stays directly in front of us. But as we turn to the left, that helps us draw that right foot up. We're going to place that right heel down and we're going to rotate. And as we rotate, we're going to relax and set through with this right hand. It pushes up and eventually rotates palm to the outside. And while that happens, the left hand that was on the top, is gonna to head over with our torso. It heads over fingers first and relaxes into what we would consider a splashing palm or that push with the heel of the hand. From there, almost like we're finger painting with the heels of the hand, we're going to take a moment and we're going to let the heel of the hand, lead, both hands, lead to the left as our weight rocks back. And we're going to parry across the front and step up into holding the ball. And again, empty left leg draws up, empty left heel goes out, and we're going to sink and rotate through with a block and a push there at the end. If we take a moment just to look at the footwork and we go from golden rooster stands on one leg, <clears throat> our weight is over the left, we're going to set that right heel to the floor. And again, we're not setting it and pointing it forward, we're setting and pointing it to the corner or the 45 degree angle. We're going to relax and sink through, moving our weight from the center all the way on top of that left leg. And as we do so, we're going to come out of that right heel. From here, dropping through the tailbone, rotating the torso to the left, we draw up that empty right leg until the toe is adjacent to our left foot. We're then going to, again, crunch in the abdomen, and we're going to turn that right foot out to a 45. We're going to place that heel on the floor, and we're going to, again, sink and rotate through into this long bow stance here. And then we're going to go ahead and, again, rock back enough. Think about sinking through the tailbone to the rear leg, just enough to peel up the right toes. And then we're going to come all the way back onto that right leg. When we rock back initially, we're going to turn the torso just a little bit to the left. And then we're going to come back forward over that right leg, all the way onto the right, emptying that left. And as our torso turns to the right, we draw that left toe up. Empty left heel steps out, and again, we're going to relax, rotate, and sit through into working the shuttle on this side. One more time. We'll do it this time with the hand gestures, but focusing on the feet. So from Golden Rooster stands on one leg, attending to the feet. We keep contraction in the abdomen. We set that left heel on the floor. And as we do, we're going to relax through the tailbone, move our weight onto the left, empty out of the right, rotate in the torso to pull the right foot up. Turning back, we place that right heel on the floor, and we rotate through, allowing that weight to shift forward. We're going to then drop back and turn our torso a little bit to the center before realigning our hands, moving over the right leg, turning further to the right to draw the empty left leg up, set that left heel down, and again, rotate through to the left, sinking through, blocking and pushing with working the shuttle to our left. Take a look at the footwork from the other angle. So once more, Golden Rooster stands on one leg. We extend that left heel to the floor, turned out 45. We're going to relax and sink the weight forward, coming out of the right heel rotating the hips to pull that left toe up, contracting in the abdomen to pull the left leg, stepping out heel first, moving the weight forward over that right leg. We're going to rock back, 
turning the pelvis a little bit more toward the middle and then coming back over that right leg and continuing turning the torso to the right to bring the empty left up, setting that empty left heel down and rotating and shifting the weight into the left leg there. With the hand gestures, <clears throat> Golden Rooster stands on the right leg. And again, we're contracting with that abdomen and we're dropping through that tailbone. We're nice and relaxed. We set that left heel on the floor and we're going to relax and sink forward into that left leg, holding that ball, rotating to our left, bringing that right leg up, setting that right heel on the floor, rotating into a push and a block and ensuring that we don't overextend that pushing arm nor do we overextend the blocking arm. So we're, we've extended the elbows outward, but we've also kept the shoulder blades down the back. We're going to relax, and as we draw the heel of the hand across, we're going to rotate back onto that right leg, pulling the left up, setting that left heel down, dropping and sinking through the elbow as we raise the left arm, and block and push through the right. Let's do it from the other side. <clears throat> so we're here. Again, <clears throat> Golden Rooster stands on one leg. We set the heel to the floor, and we're going to relax and sink through, holding that ball, dropping through the tailbone. Empty right leg is going to slide up as we turn to our left. We're going to set that right heel down. And as we sink forward, we're going to relax, turning, rotating. Left fingers are leading the way. And as we rotate that right palm, we also extend the, the heel of the left palm. So we have our block and our push together. We're going to rock back just enough to turn in with our torso, but then to turn back over that right leg, drawing the empty left forward, setting that left heel down. And again, sink through, relax, rotate, block, and push rotating the heel of the high hand and the heel of the low hand into that push at the same time. Thank you so much for joining us for movement number 18, Fair Lady Works the Shuttles. We hope that you had a great time and found something valuable along the way. As always, be sure to leave us a comment if there's anything else we can do to help you with your efforts at home. Have a great day, and thank you very much.